first thing that David said was that um, about everybody wants to vote, but in English, and the majority of people who do speak English, like, that's 98% of Americans. And the 2% who don't, like you said, 2 million out of 325 million people who live in the US. Um, if you want to become a part of our country, you should, it, it should be necessary to learn the, the, the language that most Americans speak, which is English. And, um, and from a quote at uh, usenglish.org, um, it encourages immigrants to learn English um, and to use um, government services and participate in, de in the democratic pro process. Um, it also defines a much needed common sense of language policy. Um, also, David said about uh, the jobs that would be lost. Um, I don't know what jobs he's talking about because he never mentioned any. And this should motivate immigrants to learn English because, like I said, 30% increase is a lot, especially to people who are trying to start a new life. And according to the US Census, the number of Americans who do speak English um, jumped from, in 1980, jumped from 1.2 million to 3.37 million in uh, 2000, which is a 176% increase. I mean, we should do something about that. I mean, what happens 10 years from now? So I could jump up to 6 million because of the increase of immigrants. Um, he also said a language barrier. Um, how is there going to be a language barrier if everyone is, um, if the US is supposed to, uh, well, if the US is going to name itself as an English-speaking country? How is there a language barrier in law? Um, yes, there should be classes to teach people who don't know English, but the money, like I said, the money that we could um, save from um, cancelling out unnecessary like multilingual ballots and votes, voting um, sheets. We could use that to fund classes and uh, teachers and professors to uh, help learn English to the immigrants or whoever needs it. Um, also, um, there are 322 languages spoken in the in the U.S. and if, if English was the number one language spoke like it is, it would provide a common sense of communication and unity towards everyone in, as a nation. Um, um, also, um, Spencer said that bilingual education, he said that bilingual education would be cut because of the proposition that we were saying. Um, that isn't really true. Um, bilingual education will continue, but with a new focus on teaching English as quickly as possible so that everyone can speak English. And then that should be our priority first. And then we could take the time to learn um, other languages. Because, of course, they're still necessary, especially um, considering how diverse we are as a country.